hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm showing how we can install sophos utm virtual appliance so first of all you need to download the sophos utm virtual appliance iso file i'll provide the link in the description first download the iso file then proceed with the installation as shown in the video so let's create a virtual machine we'll just go to the file new virtual machine go with the custom option and let's go with workstation 14 click next next again and go for other and free bst 1164 bit is fine then click next write surface utm okay then click next processor and all are fine let's give it one gigs of memory one gigs of memory and press next um use network address translation or yeah network address translation is fine go with the default option for disk type create new virtual disk next let's give it about 15 gigs of memory and let's store it as single virtual disk file uh, vmdk name so for utm is fine click next and then go to the customize hardware option here let's add one more adapter because it need two adapters for network adapter 2 because it need two adapter for installing the firewall so first one it's um, net second one is vmnet1 custom ad network adapter and um, in cd dvd drive let's browse the iso image file you have it here open it and that's it close finish so we created the virtual machine for surface utm so i think the memory it has to be increased let's click on the memory and um, give it one gb okay now all are fine let's power on the virtual machine once we power on the virtual machine a window like this will appear you have to click inside and press enter to start the installation now it's loading the files so it's says it's telling that the cd contains enterprise toolkit and open source software of surface utm 9.6 installing the software delete all existing data on your hard disk running another operating system or any other software is parallel is not supported we are fine with that just click ok then it will start detecting the network devices cd drives everything english usa asia and currently i'm in dubai so click dubai the date is gonna be not utc 9 13 click next now we have to find which network interface card we are going to use for accessing the web admin is uh, console so let's see ethernet 0 is up ethernet 1 is up and we have to check it which one is that this one is NAT and the other one is uh, custom network adapter vmnet1 so let's um, choose ethernet 0 the link and let's give an ip address 100 dot okay we have given the ip 192 168 100 dot 10 and net mask is 24 uh, 255 255 255 0 and let's give the I gateway IP as um, same as 
this one same as same IP is the gateway and click next um, because your CP supports 64 bits as you have to installation there is all weapons do you want 64 yes we need 64 bit kernel uh, the next question is installing capabilities yes we want to install all capabilities and it's asking for erasing the hard disk yes then it's proceeding through the steps So it's um, so for UTM. Actually, we are trying it on a virtual environment using VMware Workstation, and remind me later for VMware tools because we are not using VMware tools that much. Since it's a um, testing environment, in production you need to install the VMware tools as well. Let's continue the video after it's finished. I think it will take some time. Okay, now we have installed the um, Sophos UTM and after the installation it's asked for reboot. We just rebooted. After that a window will appear like this. All configuration is done with web I mean and uh, it will ask for going to the link that's corresponding IP, corresponding IP address and the port number 4444 so let's put that um, username sorry the IP address and the corresponding port number so this window it will open some people they will have um, um, accept the risk and continue option will be there in Firefox and in Chrome also you will have um, something like that let's check how it is coming in Chrome and here you need to give the host name so for example um, let's give Sophos FW so first firewall company organization mm, just put the my home city dubai and country you can choose from drop down united arab emirates at present okay we can choose admin account password and here I am going to give um, something simple. I give a password and uh, confirming the same password. Let me give one of my email address. And then accept the license agreement. If you want, you can read it. Better to read. And perform the basic system setup meanwhile let's um, see how it is working yeah this window it will appear your connection is not private just click on the um, advanced and proceed like this so you will get that um, window now I think the password is accepted already that's why please wait this will take 40 seconds um, it's trying to configure the basic options and creating host name company name and everything what we have given and after 40 seconds it has to be restarted automatically okay now it's restarted so um, Mm, okay, don't save it now. Go to the advanced option, exit the risk and continue. And let's put our username and password. I think it's all gonna be small. Mm, 
okay now we have once we installed this window it will appear either to restore a backup or continue so restoring backup it has to be on the same version of backup so for example I have 9.6 something version is there so if I am restoring a backup it has to be 9.6 otherwise it will not work normally but you can have a trial and click next I don't have any um, backups now let's uh, go for the license file which we have created which we have um, it has to be a text file let's see documents it's somewhere here and downloads okay I'm trying to find out the okay so for the dream essential firewall license click next and uh, it's giving the licensing information start upload it's uploading the license after that click next internal and firewall IP we can keep it same we can enable DHCP if we don't have a DHCP server for example if suppose you have a um, uh, Windows server which is giving um, IP address to the client computers you don't need to check it but if you don't have anything Windows server and simple setup you have to enable DHCP at present I'm not doing this one because I have to um, install a Windows server and configure it as DHCP so I'm just keeping it unchecked click next and here you need to set up internet connection internet connection it's uh, on ethernet one we have internet connection and it has to be um, standard ethernet interface type because I'm using dynamic DHCP I'm getting the internet from my local computer and it has to be on dynamic DHCP so just to give dynamic DHCP and click next okay now it's um, telling that this feature is disabled as you either do not have a relevant subscription on the relevant subscription has expired so I think the licensing has got some issues anyway let, I will upload the license file later click next and the, the, here I cannot enable the threat detection because I don't have license click next this is the window for web protection settings this one also I cannot enable because of the licensing issue click next again email protection settings of course I cannot do it and here you can see the summary of what you have set up now all this stuff it's disabled now because some of them it's because of the license and HCV server I intentionally left for enabling click on finish and I can see that this is the window of um, our firewall dashboard specifically and we'll go through in details but before that I have to check for licensing option registration dates 26 January okay now I'll be trying to upload my license file let me check once again for my license text after that I will upload so we created the license file and I'm going to upload the license file now I have all this protection it's for three years I think and start upload it's a home license basically for testing purpose and click apply it's okay press okay
let's go to the overview for viewing the now let's go to dashboard you can see all of them are enabled let's go to dashboard management licensing information here you can see that accept basic card and support uh, sandstorm all of them is enabled so in order to download the license you can go to the sophos my utm portal and create one account and create one home license if you don't know how to do it i will be helping in one of the next video if you don't know how to do it you can comment it's basically it's very simple you can go to my utm.sophos.com and create one account and uh, create one home free license so thank you guys um, in coming tutorial we will be discussing more details about the sophos utm thank you for watching once again click the channel for uh, more videos like this subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification goodbye